right, you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back. Boost! <laughs> I'm YouTube famous now. Turn up the lights in here, oh baby. My country version of Kanye West. <laughs> turn up the lights. Anyway, because we're talking about the Kardashians today. So, of course, I have to throw in a little Kanye re reference, right? Because we're going to be talking about the Wests. Too. Keeping up with the Wests. Remember back in the day, it was keeping up with the Joneses. Uh, no more. Today, it's keeping up with the Wests. You need to have your Birkin. You need to have your lip injections, all that kind of stuff. So, anyway, if you don't know what you don't know is a lot, which I don't know how nobody knows this at this point. I think everybody in the world knows this, but stay tuned because this is a little tea maybe that you didn't know. Um, Kylie Jenner is pregnant. Yes, yes, yes. The queen of the, oh lord, the queen of the internet at 20, Kylie Jenner, is pregnant with her boyfriend, Travis Scott's baby. Okay. So if you thought it was Tyga, no baby, there ain't gonna be no little Tiggers out there. It's not Tyga's, even though he's claiming that it was his, supposedly, because they had sex, I don't know, back in April or something like that. But, uh, so she has come out now and it's, like, been confirmed, all this kind of stuff, supposedly, allegedly, because, um, like, the family has known for a while. All these things always say a family insider. So let me just, before we get into the really good tea, let me just read you the article so you guys can have all of the same information that I have, and we all want to just be on the up and the up, and this is from People Magazine. Kris Jenner speaks out for the first time since Kylie's pregnancy news while supporting Kendall in Milan. Okay, so here they are. And it says, the internet may be going crazy over news that Kylie Jenner is pregnant with her first child, but mom Kris Jenner and sister Kendall Jenner certainly stayed calm while leaving the Versace fashion show in Milan, Italy, Friday. Calm. The mother-daughter duo in town for Milan Fashion Week where Kendall walked the Versace show and Kris cheered her on from the front row. They looked stylish, too. Who writes this dribble? Seriously? They looked stylish. They're the Kardashians. Okay? It's off the rack. Let's be for real. Kendall 21, pairing gray pants with a white turtleneck sweater and shearling jacket, which she wore casually over her right shoulder. She added pointy black heels and rectangular sunglasses to her outfit, trading out a bag for a black fabric body pouch that strapped around her waist and over her shoulder. No, she didn't pick none of that stuff a stylist did. Let's just call a spade a spade. Okay? So anyway, Chris, meanwhile, dazzled in a long black sequin jumpsuit. She's always in a good jumpsuit. Because she's got to get, she's like on those girls like a coach. Faster, faster, faster. Kim, faster, faster. <laughs> You're walking this show, Kendall. I don't care. Okay. The 60-year-old momager accessorized her look with black heels, a diamond bangle bracelet, and oversized shades. I do love Kris Jenner so much, though. I mean, she's got this all together, right? She's always like, who, what? <laughs> Wait till you hear what she has to say in here. While sitting in the front row, Kris spoke out to the cut for the first time since Kyle Kylie's pregnancy news broke, refusing to directly address the news, but instead saying that something happens every single day. You never know what is going to break at any moment, she says. Ain't that the truth of the Kardashians? Hours earlier, multiple sources confirmed to people the news that Kylie, 20, is expecting a girl, another Kardashian girl, in February with her new boyfriend. I mean, she's not a Kardashian. She's a Jenner, right? So anyway, with her new, but she's a Chris. We should all call them just Chris's because they're all from Chris, right? I mean, she literally is like the queen. <laughs> this is how it really is. Oh, I'm going to get so much shit for that. People would be like, do not compare her to royalty. Well, they kind of are. They're kind of reality royalty. Let's just be for real, okay? I mean, if Vicky can be the OG of the OC, then the Kardashians are definitely reality royalty, right? They started telling friends a few weeks ago, says the source of, said the source of keeping up with the Kardashian star and her rapper boyfriend. The family has known for quite some time. She is really excited, and so is Travis, apparently because he's been out all weekend in Miami just partying up a storm. It's all over the internet. Okay. So, that was that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Another insider said Scott began telling friends about the pregnancy in July. He was so excited he couldn't keep it in, says the insider. He's been so affectionate and protective of Kylie since they found out. He can't wait to be a dad. The insider added Kylie was worried people would find out she was pregnant before she was ready to start sharing the news, so she started posting old pictures, photos of herself on social media that flaunted her flat stomach. Well, somebody figured it out. Y'all want to know who it is? I love this so much because I love this gal. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, my God. This was so fantastic. And this story today, virginal with a white fan. I have to change fans. I hate this fan. It's ugly. Anyway. And the blue fan, I mean, it's old and it don't snap like the same way that the yellow one does. Turn on the lights in here, baby. Turn on the lights in here, baby. 
diva. Okay, so anyway, I love this so much. Do you know who broke the news? Do you know who actually is the, tr the real psychic out there? Oh, she's got a new YouTube channel, too. I don't know that I think it's so fine. But the real, the real detective out there is none other than Dorothy Wang. Don't you love her so much? And she put right here, when you knew it first, Detective Dorothy. Look at that picture. Absolutely love her. I love Dorothy Wang so much. Um, rich Kids of Beverly Hills and all that, okay? So then she also posted this on her Instagram, but she also posted it on her Snapchat. And my husband, being the good receipt grabber he is, thought that I would maybe want to do this story. So he grabbed it for me. And here it is, right here. <laughs> Look, three little detectives. And at the top, she sent this to Ezra Williams. And I don't, I love Ezra Williams too. And I don't know who Tina is. Tina, eat your dinner, Tina. Um, but anyway, she says in here to them, you guys, I think Kylie is pregs. And then she's got it all crossed out. So you can't see what they say. But then somebody else says what on here, right? And um, let's just see if we can scan way up on there. It says, oh, Ezra said something. So whatever Ezra said, Ezra Williams, real rich kid. That's what she crossed out right there because it says Ezra, you can see it. But anyway, um, that was on, are you ready for this? August 8th. So Detective Dorothy Wang knew August 8th that Kylie Jenner was pregnant. Of course she would. I mean, they're not good GDs or anything like that, but wouldn't you? I mean, I listen, I didn't know. Did you know? I mean, it's taking over the internet. So, but let me tell you, okay? So I was thinking about this because I'm in my office today, obviously. Ding a ling a ling a sham a lamb a gim a lamb pregnant who? Uh, pregnancy hotline. Uh huh. Care Bears. No, I don't care about all that. No. Uh huh. Pregnancy. Kylie Jenner's pregnant. Oh my lord. So anyway, <laughs> but I was on the drama phone on the way over here, and I was thinking to myself, let me tell you, okay? Now, truly, a lot of people send me tea, a lot of people send me receipts, a lot of people send me all that kind of stuff, but I did truly come up with this one on my own. So basically, basically, the real story is Dorothy Wang and I should start a detective agency called uh, Moonlighting too. <laughs> did you ever see that with Sybil Shepherd and Bruce Willis? Oh my God. I loved that show so much. I wanted to be a detective for years because of that TV show, uh, Moonlighting. Do you remember that? So, let me tell you, okay? Ten years ago, it all started with the Kardashians, okay? Chris, the mom, Kim, uh, <laughs> Chloe, and Courtney. That was ten years ago, okay? Three days ago, they were just talking about their anniversary. I loved it. I was like, oh my god, it's been ten years since Kardashians. Now, I will tell you, I am not a diehard lover of the Kardashians, but they are hard for me to wa not watch sometimes, okay? Um, and they just shade each other. And I will tell you this, because people always ask me who's my favorite. Well, of course, Chloe. Why would Chloe not be your favorite, okay? I've been in those Dash stores, too, and they're just a bunch of junk, okay? It's souvenirs and sweatshirts. Who'd care, okay? And they mark them up about $150. I'm like, don't y'all already have enough money? People are just sending me Birkins left and right, and you're charging $200 for a sweatshirt that says Dash on it? Who'd care? So, anyway, um... But I was thinking about this on the way over here, and I was like, okay, so that show just started the other day. Well, well the other day, like a couple months ago or a month ago or two. Who knows? I didn't do my research on that one. But anyway, that new Kylie Jenner show called Life of Kylie. Have y'all seen it? Mom, Mom, can you drop me off in Houston in the private plane? This isn't carpool, Kylie. Mom. Okay. What? My mother would have said walk, baby. No. I ain't walking you to the Dairy Queen up the street to get you a Mr. Misty. Forget it. Uh-uh. So anyway, I'm watching this show and thinking about that in the car. I'm not watching the show on the way over. I care less. I have kept up a little bit because I like her friend Jordan and I feel bad for her. I mean, it's hard living in the shadow. I've lived in the shadow my whole life. It's so hard. So anyway, that friend of hers, I, she's a model. Who's she a model? Who's she modeling for? And Kylie's always like, I'm so proud. She's sitting there getting her hair done, her makeup and everything. She's getting ready to go to the uh, Legends Ball. Now that's uh, Oprah saying, what's the thing called? The, uh, oh, I don't know, that thing in New York City. The gala. The Met Gala. She's getting ready to go to the Met Gala and sit next to Donatella Versace. Her friend ain't getting no ticket. And she's sitting there getting all her stuff done. Hair extensions on there, cutting that wig and everything like that. And she looks at her and she goes, I'm so proud of everything you've achieved. I wanted to look at her and go, girl, what? What did she achieve? I guess I'm proud of her, too, but what, for being your good best, best Judy? I mean, I would love for somebody to come up to my best Judy, Tanya, and say, I'm so proud of you for being Peter's best Judy. She'd be like, yeah, I've tolerated a lot of shit through the years. You know what I mean? That's what you ought to be proud of, Kylie, not the fact that she's a new model of the world. So anyway, but I'm watching this, and I'm like, okay, now let's just get this all out. Now, I'm not going to get these shows right. So you out there, that you have the receipts, and you have watched these shows from the very beginning, you can just keep up with it, okay? 
But there was Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Well, before that, there was the real movie, right? What was that movie called? You know, with Kim Kardashian and you know who? <laughs> that one. That, that was the real uh, claim to fame, right? My friend and I, Tanya, we were watching this movie the other day on the O.J. Simpson trial. It is so good. It is on Netflix. You guys got to go watch it, right? And they have, what's his name? The Kardashian dad. I can never think of his name. But anyway, uh, he, uh, this was not the movie, the American Crime movie, although I love that movie. This was like documentary, like evidence, right? So anyway, the dad, we'll just call him Mr. Kardashian. I can't remember what his name is anyway. What was his name? It wasn't Rob. Robert Kardashian? Yes, it was. Okay. Anyway, so he's like walking and he's like moving this bag. This bag that supposedly like had all the evidence in it. And it's like, where, who, what now? Go watch this documentary. They literally have like a green, like a red like circle on it. And they track the bag. And he just takes the bag and walks away with it, right? But as you turn and he turns, you see, oh my lord, baby. That's where the ass comes from. That ass came from the dad. It didn't come from all these girls. All the, or from uh, the, the other side. All this time I've been wondering, like, why don't uh, Kendall and Kylie Jenner have no asses? Well, Kylie does now, but mm -hmm. so anyway. I do feel bad for her, though. She was sitting there um, talking all... I was watching this thing on Life of Kylie, and they were asking her about her lip injection. She's like, I just felt so like nobody liked me because I had such small lips. And they were flashing back, showing her her small lips. I was like, girl, you did kind of have small lips. But I mean... Now she achieves a full older lip, like Sandra Bernhardt used to say. I love that so much. I love Sandra Bernhardt. I love the real full lip girls all day long. So anyway, so I'm watching this, and I'm thinking, okay, there was Keeping Up with the Kardashians, you know, back in the day. And then there was the one where they go do their own thing. Okay, then there was, like, Courtney and Chloe in Miami. Do you remember that? There's been all these spinoffs of the Kardashian shows, right? They did this, they did that. And then there was, like, Kylie and Kendall for a while. Okay, and then, you know, Caitlyn had her own show didn't get renewed okay so then there was that i mean there's been all these shows right all these spinoffs and i'm sitting there thinking i'm saying okay now we're at life of kylie chris is probably thinking all my girls are aging out sooner or later I, we don't know i mean will chloe ever get married again will she ever settle down and have a family i wish she would i love chloe she's my favorite all day long i think she's the prettiest of all of them and i don't care what you say you're wrong if you don't agree with me don't you know that by now Put in the comment section below who you think the prettiest Kardashian is. And if you don't think of any of them are, just put none. So anyway, <laughs> N-U-N, not N-O-N-E. Can you imagine if one of them left the family and decided they were going to go to a convent to be a nun? Shook. So anyway, I would love that. <laughs> My life is a Kardashian nun. Can you even imagine? My hat's kind of going up in fuckboy status. So anyway, but I was thinking about this and I was like, okay, so Kylie is 20. Now, you know Chris, she thinks this shit out months in advance, right? She's like... Her schedule book must be crazy nuts. I mean, she must have, I mean, she, she, I bet she doesn't use her phone. She's old school like me. Aren't you, Chris? You are. You got a pen and you put it in there. I know she does, right? She's already got March 3rd already figured out. And Kylie's already got 420 and she'll have had the baby by then. So anyway, but I was sitting there thinking about it and I was like, you know, this is good. This is smart of Kylie or this is smart of Chris, right? Chris is like, girl, listen, we know it ain't going to happen with Kendall. So you need to get pregnant. Okay. And uh, you're going to get pregnant now because you're 20 which means 20 years from now when the franchise is dying out and you and your sister have moved on and Kendall's like owning the world of fashion. She's got her own fashion house and she's doing all this kind of stuff. And you know, whatever. And the, the girls, they're like 40. Well, how old will Kim Kardashian be then? My gosh, she'll be like 50. She'll be like the new Kim Kardashian. Mom, why can't my kids be in their own TV show? Because they're Wesks, Kim. They're not Kardashians. They're not Chris's. They're not Chris's basically, right? But see... Ken, or Ken, uh, Kylie Jenner, I can't get these names right. Oh my Lord, why not just a one Judy Smith and the whole thing? And then poor Rob. That's why he can't make nothing out of his life because they named him Rob. If they had named him like Christopher, well, that would have been with a C. Well, with a K. If they had named him like Carl with a K, Carl's Jr., oh, that would have been so bad. But anyway, <laughs> that would have been really bad for Rob. But anyway, I'm thinking, okay, so 20 years from the time that she got pregnant on Life of Kylie, her daughter, because she's having a girl, will be, and I'm sure she'll name it something with a K. Just wait. See, that's where you fuck up. If you're in this family and you name your something, your child something like Blue Moon, baby, you ain't in the family. Not really. No. You got to name it with a K. Don't you know how that works? So anyway, she'll be smart, right? She'll name it with Christina with a K or something like that. Who'd care? Anyway, I'll like that. What do you think she'll name it? A Kiwi? Probably Kiwi. I mean, that's like the big movie star thing to name it. Name it something weird and real out there. Kiwi Fruit. Kiwi Fruit Jenner or something like that. Because, of course, Travis Scott, we won't know who the dad is by the time the baby's coming. This is going to be a bunch of trouble. Trust me, okay? Tyga is going to cause all kinds of drama and say it's his baby. Travis Scott's going to say, no, it's not. It's my baby. 
Kylie at the last minute will throw out some name, Scott Disick probably, that we don't even know who's who, right? We won't know who the baby's is until it's born. It's just to drive all this drama to all this kind of stuff. And 20 years down the road, little Kiwi is going to get her show and it's going to be called Kiwi on her own. This is never going to end, y'all, okay? I'm telling you right now, the Kardashian empire is going on forever. And who uh, was the one, to, the psychic figure it all out? Dorothy Wang, love her so much. I do though. Why can't she keep a man though? She says it's because she went on that stupid show, that celebrity, I, being in a big house together or meet somebody. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? And then she was on Real Rich Kids of Beverly Hills. But why can't she meet somebody? Girl, I love you. You're gorgeous and you're kind of sweet, it seems like. I mean, I don't know. You need to go hang out with Kyla. She meet men left and right. So. That's my prediction. 20 years from now, we're going to be having to watch Lil Kiwi's Life or something like that. Who'd care all day long? Not me. But I will continue to watch it because there ain't no other good drama on TV. And now you have to go to the YouTube and you know the drama on YouTube, it's thick. It's thick all day long. It's thicker than Kanye West has got recently. Baby, listen. <laughs> I love some thickness. So, I think that's all I have for another day. <laughs> Turn up the lights in here, baby. I did hear his concert was amazing, though. Have you guys heard about this concert where he, like, floats down on that thing and everything like that? I mean, I know that was, like, a year and a half ago, but still, I wish I had gone. I am, like, so pissed right now. My friend is going to Hamilton in L.A., and I can't stand musicals to save my life, but I do want to go to L.A. And today, she sat on the front porch. She goes, do you want to go to L.A. with me? And I was like, mm, I can't. Why do you always ask me this stuff? If I was a Kardashian, I could just call up and go, Mom, but it's not a carpool, Kylie. And I'd say, but my name is Peter, and I'm YouTube famous. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.